Here we go. Stray. Oh, already some... This is this is where I want to be right now. This is where, <laughs> this is where I want to be. In the rain. Although it might be really humid. It does look a bit humid, doesn't it? With, like, all the vines and stuff. Okay, so here we are. We're, we're, we're a cat in the cat world. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, he's playing with the tail! <laughs> Oh, why do they live in a gutter, though? I vibe with the cat gang. Oh, look at them. I think, I think I've probably come to like cats through having Sora. Because he's very cat-like. And so when I see a cat, I'm like, oh, that's like Sora. He does that. Oh, that's such a vibe, dude. That's such a vibe. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can manually meow. Ha, <laughs> ha. This is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. What? This game looks stupid, man. <gasps> no! 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 Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, God, it's like Mufasa. Oh, no, help him. <gasps> oh, we've lost our family. Is that what the game's going to be about? Finding him again? It's like Homeward Bound. Oh, my God! Oh, no. Oh, no, buddy. The little ripples in the puddles. Oh, dude. Oh, look at this. What? Dead city. This looks crazy good, dude. What the fuck? I picked up a bucket. I, <laughs> I don't know why. Paint. I don't know why I'm doing that. That's kind of kind of causing trouble here. Go on. Oh, we broke into a house with paint. What's this? <laughs> oh, look at the lighting. Oh, dude, this looks so nice. Wah! What are you? Oh, he's dead. Robot died. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, he's scared. Unless it's a she. Is it a she or is it a he? Oh, God, we gotta run. We gotta run. Oh, my God, go, 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 go. What is happening? What are these things? What do they want with me? We gotta run through this lovely environment. I wanna be able to soak it all in. What is that? What the hell? We made it. Safe. Look, here's the cat. There's the cat. How lovely. Oh, I love the way they use lights to direct you. That's so Fun. I love this like fucking like level design and like environmental design. It's so like aesthetically pleasing. Those blobs are all Shane Dawson. What does that mean? Oh, because they were like fucking a cat. Right, I see what you're saying. That doesn't look too stable to me. Oh no! No! Oh god, I thought you died. <laughs> Need help. <laughs> That's amazing. What is that? Whoa. Looks like a ghost from Destiny. Well, it doesn't really. Does it? <laughs> it doesn't really. It worked. I'm free. Thank you. I couldn't believe the camera. Is a cat in the dead city? I'm... I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in an electronic network for so long. I know I work for a scientist who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city. But you seem to know uh, how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> the cat is like, no. <laughs> I love these little, these, these things. Why are they here? Were they expecting cats? I don't understand. Oh. Oh, let's go through. Oh, who's that? Is that a robot? Oh, it is. It's a robot. The slums. Oh. Scared of the cat? What did the cat ever do? Oh no, they don't like the cat. They're scared of the cat. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. <laughs> I won't. I'm a cat. This elevator is an operation where everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Okay. I just sit here. Oh, look at us. We're having a little rest. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the controls are all backwards. Oh, I can scratch the side of the couch. Oh, it feels so good. That's amazing. That's wonderful. A strange notebook with a symbol on it. 
This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, you should be able capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. Hey, We made it! That's a ball! That's amazing! Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, what do you want? Uh, the outside. This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Meow! Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that fucking transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Momo's notebook. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from the Zerks. They signed Clementines, Baltzar, Doc, and Momo. I think we should go find the others in the notebook. Okay, so we've got to go try find the other notebooks. It's just a cow. <laughs> Who put the cow there? I love how you got to always be looking up. It's quite nice. Let's take the notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. So we need one more notebook. Hey! Look at that! No! No! Nailed it. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zbaldzar. All traces of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breathe at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found the design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that should be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Momo, I'm coming back. I got great news. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementines, Baltar, Doc. I'm sorry, I doubted, your, doubted our course. I'll promise you, I'll find a way to reach the surface. I thank you. We might be able to find your, your way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Nice! We did it. Gain new item. You're the only one smaller, quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. So we're trying to get up there. We're on a mission. We're a cat on a mission. Oh my god, I might die. I'm gonna die! <gasps> oh my god. The cat died. We did it. Transceiver done. I, I love that this is like it's very Japanese looking sort of thing, but like it's like it takes it it's like it takes the visual sort of aesthetic of like sort of back back streets in like Tokyo or something and translates it into like a like a big dense built up like slums, which I think is pretty cool. Gives me very like 90s anime vibes. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Oh, like an apocalypse. Those look like stars, but they're only lights make marking the hermetic roof, sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody could go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. This is so weird how, like, this took such a turn. Like, we're saving the world and saving this underground city or whatever. Like, discovering this whole city that's been, like, locked away. I just thought we were going to find our cat friends again, to be honest. <laughs> but I like the lore. Where is the bar? Where is the bar? I can't fucking remember. Oh, take a seat. Oh, look at that. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zabuzz with the guitar? Momo? Psh, you have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psh, very dangerous. Psh, zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zabuzz is alive. He and the, others, the other outsiders managed to get up through the sewers. 
The sewer is the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zbalzazar made it, there must be a way. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. <laughs> Sheamus. His father, Doc, used to get used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Sheamus has never been the same since. Jacob is employee of the month. That's incredible. Well done, Jacob. In we go. Hey, Seamus. Ah, oh, I'm a cat. What are you doing in here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, this is my papa's. Oh, wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Good question, Seamus. Good question. Just taking all the paintings off the walls. Don't worry about me. I'm a fool. I'm just, I'm just a cat. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, let's go. I'm a pro puzzle solver. Look at me go. These blueprints. They must be for a Zerk weapon. Papa was always secretive with his work. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. Yes, can I help you? Uh, yes, I've got a broken tracker. I know I'd repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I'm gonna need a blanket. I don't have a blanket, dude. Nailed it! Thanks, now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update. One more thing. Voila! Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my papa went. Yeah, let's go. Let's follow the tracker, mister. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He'll know that you're a friend. Okay, let's go. It's time for our mission to begin. Dead end. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, they're coming for me. Go, go, go. Go, not Shane Dawson. Get out of here! Oh, feels good when you jump over the gamers. Oh, God, we made it. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's fucking tense every time this happens. Yo! We're killing all the Shane Dawsons. This is amazing. Yeah, this game looks really nice. This game looks really good. Oh, God, are you okay? Oh, he's covered in mud. Poor guy. Oh my god, he's limping. Not again. Oh, he's alright now. He's alright. Oh, oh my god, is it? Is that Doc? Whoa! Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How'd you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I came here to fix my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. A full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. I do appreciate the Back to the Future reference. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such small power source. But if you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. That is so handy. I am a cat playing with a barrel. Oh, look, Doc and Seamus. Oh, They're reunited. And the Guardian's just there. They're like the robots from Doctor Who. The emojis. Let's go, buddy. I can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxer. With this, we can go find Zbaltar. Let's go. Into the sewers. Hell yeah. This is so cool. It looks real nice. I like it. I'm a big fan. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. Sewer levels normally suck, but this is, like, pretty good. This is pure vibes. It really is. Oh my god. I don't need blowing up my friend here. It's like The Last of Us Part 2 when you're on the boat. It's like Black Flag when you're on the boat. It's like Valhalla when you're on the boat. Oh, it is just like that, yeah. It's like uh, Metro Exodus when you're on the boat. I honestly, it kind of is. Okay, here we go. Cat goes through the dodgy sewers area. Oh no. Ugh! Ugh! Those are eyes! Oh my god. Ugh. What the hell? That's horrible. Which is, yeah, no good. Oh, hello. Oh, god, I feel like we're in the metro. What the hell? What the fuck? What the fuck? That is a huge fucking eye. Oh. No, thank you. What the hell? Oh, the poor little cat. Oh, he's doing a little, he's doing a little hiss. <gasps> Yes, save the cat, save the cat. Is it okay? It is okay. Oh my god. He's gonna give his life for the cat. Oh my god, we've saved him. 
Let's go. Let's go. Quick. This game is gorgeous, though. It's crazy how good this looks. The way they use the lighting and shit. Oh, my goodness. What a game. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. The way they design environments, too. Like, I love the, like, layering of stuff. It just looks really nice. It gives me big, like, Midgar vibes a lot of this game, honestly. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, finally, the fourth ward. Oh, my God. He's okay. He's okay. It was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Yo. Hi. A traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? It's Balthazar. The, the outsider has been expecting you. He's meditating on the top of our village. Whoa. Whoa. This is the... Honestly... That's what this game reminds me of. It's Final Fantasy VII. It's got very... Like... Yeah. Midgar slums vibes. It's a machine. The scientist I assisted used one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine, but I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years until a little cat appeared. Oh. Was it? It was. Me. I was the scientist. Oh. I was human. Wow. I, I need a moment. Wow. So uh, the boy has been the scientist the whole time. That makes so much sense. Hey, don't you know not to interrupt the fellow during his trans transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know, Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. The memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. Yes, a nice scratch. Good. Sorry, that was really satisfying. I enjoyed that. This is an interesting place. It's like a different vibe. I like this. Very cyberpunky. Wow, what? Dude, this looks so good. What the hell? This is such a cool vibe. Oh my god. This is so... Yeah, wow. Holy hell. Wow. This is one of those games that I can imagine really enjoying watching other people play again. Like, it'll be fun to, like, watch George stream it. He said he was going to stream it at the weekend and, like, Elvis should do it. I just love to watch people play it and just see their reaction to it because it's just so cool. Crazy how different this is to the slums. Oh, my goodness. Like, wow. That, like, these neon lights, dude. The way they light the area. Oh, my God. It looks so good. There's something about being a cat as well that just, like, makes it. It's so cool. I thought you were sent... Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Here you go. Wait. Zabaltazar finally decided to send someone. Guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How'd you even manage to get in the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking for a way uh, outside ever since I left Ant Village. But the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. I've been working on a plan to use this old subway for a while now. I even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know Neko Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. The battery is powering the Neko Corp. Battery right there, but this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who's not a worker. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here to check for, uh, for a good time to enter. You want a worker jacket and a worker helmet. Well, this guy's got one. Perfect. There you go. It's Simon Cowell. Thank you for the cassette tape. Lol. Okay. We got ourselves the jacket. Now, where's the helmet? Is this the hat shop? Oh, that's the hat shop. Oh, wait. There you go. We tip beers on his head. Go on. Get back to work, motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Gonna sneak in. I'm an assassin. Wow, this game has real stealth elements. It's social stealth. I'm blending with the box. How amazing is that? There we go. I got ourselves the bits and the bobs. Let's go. Let's take it back to our guy. I got you. I got you the stuff. I got you the stuff, bro. Mind turning around? All right, man. 
I'll turn around, man. It's a Metal Gear reference. Oh my god. How'd you like it so far? I'm loving it. I'm th this is a great game. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? I'm not here. I'm not here. There's no one here. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're doing this in the coolest way possible. There you go. I feel like you're not supposed to be playing like this. I feel like I'm supposed to be playing this a bit more stealthy, but I feel like I'm just so quick, boys. I'm fast as fuck, boy. There's no cat here, buddy. No cat here. Oh! Oh, God! I, oh, no. There we go. Okay, come with me. I don't really know what the purpose of these machines is, but, uh, you know, I'll just... I'll accept it. Now it. I like this. This is good. Might be game of the year. I mean, I'd, what else came out this year? Oh, Horizon and Elden Ring. Yeah, I guess maybe not. But it's 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 a good game. Oh, frame rate is tanked there. Okay, let's go. The B12 and the cat. The answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four symbols. Smoky thing, rocks, cone. I used to love lava lamps when I was a kid. I thought they were fucking cool. But yeah, I don't know. For some reason, my parents never let me get a lava lamp. But I thought they were fucking awesome. I was a big lava lamp fan. Oh, she's with Blazer. But where, though? That's the question. <laughs> what the, Lieutenant Cat? Hell yeah. Let's go to the nightclub. Oh, God! Let's speak to the bartender. Where's uh, Clementine? Ah, okay, cool. We made it. Whoa. Clementine. Oh my god, no. Blazer. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. Nothing personal, kid. He really just nothing personal kidded us. What do we do? What do we do? What? Cat dead? Alcatraz. <laughs> Cat's having its Tomb Raider moment. Hey, look at that. Clever cat. Oh, there we go. Clementine. Clementine's my favorite character in the MCU. Whoa, look at this. That looks crazy. Now what do we do, Clementine? Look how cute this cat is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. That's our boy. Can we get the bad ending by leaving him? Stealthing our way through. I love how his shoulders move, this cat. It looks so realistic. It's crazy how well animated it is. Here we go, here we go. That was really scuffed, but I nailed it. I was trapped in my lab's computer systems again, all alone. You came back for me, I can't believe it. You're a good friend. I'm so glad that we're all together again, but we're not safe. He's gonna fucking brick me. No, please. I'm sorry. Let me on the back of the truck. Yay. When you think about it, vending machines kind of are microtransactions, aren't they? There's no way we'll all make it with the sentinels on our tail. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The Outsiders Manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. Oh, so I'm going to go outside for you. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get outside, but that one of us has to. But you could have just come. Go, now. I'll keep you in my RAM, little outsider. Clementine. Oh, yeah, the battery. There it is. It's all been building up to this moment. And I think, yeah, the thing is as well, it has really good gameplay. It really reminds me of Plague Tale. In the, it's not really difficult or really complex or anything like that. But it plays in a way that's engaging, and I think that's, like, quite important. It makes the exploring feel quite meaningful, more so than just exploring. It's like navigating a level in a video game, and I, I like the way that that plays. Oh my god, it sounds just like the fucking tube. What the hell? Walled City 99. Is that where we were? Hello, how may I help you? Oh, hello. Whoa! What else is this? It's Ward City 99. That's where we were. I'm currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. 
Thanks for the consideration. We're in Abstergo. Abstergo's got my dad. Oh, there it is. There's the city down below. That's where we came from. There's that tower. Wow. That was the city. That's the city. We're right on the edge of it. We're on the outside area. I like this aesthetic. It's really nice. Three things happened at Walled City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Okay, so we need to find the control room. Okay, yeah, this is really cool. I like this a lot. I, this The whole, like, lore and everything has been super interesting. This is the control room for the entire city. They control everything from here, and it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move, little good it did them. The plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying, and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. I'll carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. It's like gridlock. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We'll need to turn them on. I love this. Turning on the key through using the keyboard. I brought the systems online by standing on the keyboards. It worked. Good job, my friend. I've found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. This is like gridlock. They're gonna open the 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 ceiling. Ah, hello. Okay, so we've got to find these. Hack. I see. Oh, the, the system is taking more than I expected. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open the workstation. Here we go. Oh. I think it is... I think this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. Oh no, I know. I can see this coming from a mile away. This is... This is... That's it. We're safe. Roof control system. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city central control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. With the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into that first computer and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions. And you. Here. Let me take that off you. Oh. You were my friend. The very best I could have asked for. Thank you. Oh no! The face of Bo is dead! Oh! Door opening, here we go! Oh god. Ah, oh, yes, the Zerks die. They just need sunlight, that's it. Guardian. Oh, it's all the guys. It looks so different in the daylight. Clementine. The sky. This looks gorgeous. The hell? Wow. Wow. You just kind of see it popping in a little bit, but that's all right. So what do we do now? Do we leave? I like there's just no music here. It's very somber. City open. Here we go. Back out into the world. Honestly, I can imagine this is just canon to like Horizon Zero Dawn or something. <laughs> These are some of Ted Farrow's machines that have gone sentient. Oh my god, here we are. Back out in the world. The camera, okay, so I'm still playing. The camera's just like, hanging back. Aww, he's out in the sun. Back out in this world that 
I guess is inhabited by animals and shit. We did it. That was it. That was it. I would like to have seen like a sweeping shot of the landscape, but I understand it's an indie company and that probably would have been really expensive considering they probably spent a lot on the main part of the game. But that was great, man. That was such a good game. That was such a good little game. One of the best indie games I've played for sure. Like one of the one of the best, you know, smaller games. It's uh yeah, a really really good one. I've really enjoyed that. It had a lot of heart to it. There was a lot like it had a lot to say too, I think. There was a lot there that you could go back and like you could find little more bits. Obviously, I didn't do everything, but you could obviously go back and like talk to more people and complete more of the little side content and get more of the memories as well that would like, you know, more of the story they were trying to tell of that like you know this world and stuff which i think was really interesting as well really like really well designed really well like written and everything that was cool it looked gorgeous it played really well just like such a sick game that was just like a really good game it was really really good um yeah really really solid fun experience and i loved it i thought it was great just like a really really good game um I'd recommend it. I would recommend it. I would I would re definitely recommend it. I, you, it's on uh, PlayStation Plus Extra. It comes with their game collection, which is like their, sort of their game pass. So if you have PlayStation Plus Extra, then you have access to it, which is cool. Um, it was a no-brainer for me because the game was like £25. And so it was like 27 to upgrade my P PS Plus to Extra for 300 days. So it was like a no-brainer. Obviously, I was going to do that, but... Um, but that was sick. That's good. Yeah, it only took us four hours. It only took us four hours. Um, I, if I was playing on my own, I probably would have spent way more time just doing nothing. Just, like, wandering around. But that's not, like, stream content. I don't know. I, I just, I don't want to do that on stream. Like, if I'm on stream, I want to be playing through the game sort of thing. Um, but I can imagine if I was playing it on my own, I just would have been, like, you know, just spending a lot of time wandering around, talking to, like, every NPC and everything. Um, but there you go. Um... But yeah, I mean, that was that was a sick game. That was a really sick game. I really enjoyed it. I wish there was more. I wish we hadn't finished it. Honestly, that was really good. I would love to... Like, I want to spend more time in the world. Like, I just think it was such an interesting world. But I think the reason it's so interesting is because we only see such a small snippet of, like... You know, we don't know what happened to the humans, really. Like, we don't know how the robots ended up becoming, you know, these sort of way more sentient AIs. Like, there's a lot going on there. But I think it's interesting because you don't know a lot which i think is what's cool it was really good it was really good i loved it thought it was fantastic great game great game